I'm Justin B. Matthew, and today we will be looking about on the topic state chat diagram. So the state chat diagram shows a state machine, and it's useful for modeling the lifetime of an object. A state chat diagram shows flow of control from state to state, typically whole system, not sum of object states. Now, when should we use state chats? When you have a complex object, when you really need to know the states of an object. Okay, so there are many things like uh, states are there, and this is how a uh, simple state chat looks like. You have a object, and then this is the initial state. You have uh, all this composite state, sequential substate, transition. So this is how a state chart diagram looks and I have done for online course registration. So this is the initial uh, state where it starts and then we have a state here. After that, if the login is failed, again it will ask the student to log in again. If the login is successful, it shows the course catalog and then proceed to registration. Once it goes to subject registration, it gives a choice of four courses and along with that you can see I have given it to the alternate course selection where two alternate courses can be selected. Once the course is selected, uh, it goes to the payment block and then if the payment is pending, he has to pay it again that self loop is given. Uh, once the payment is uh, like about to do, the billing should be, bill should be generated and it should be returned to payment. Um, uh, or else if the payment is not being accepted there should be an optional option for cancelling the registration and then if once the payment is done it should show billing successful and this is how we denote the final state so even this is very easy just uh, here what we do is just we show the transition from one state to the other so i hope you uh, you understood the concept of state chart diagram thank you for watching my video please do like share and subscribe